In this video, you'll see the easiest shower drain for beginners to install. It's the Schluter Curdy Drain, and the reason why I like this drain is because it can be solvent welded to either PVC or ABS pipes. The first step is to cut out the foam insert that's in the Schluter shower tray. You're going to need that for the drain. You put it on your substrate or your subfloor. If you don't have the tray, you can use the spacers that come with the drain. They're either white or gray spacers. We don't need the white ones because the gray ones fit the size of our shower tray and also make sure they face up if you're gonna use those. So the first step is to cut the riser pipe coming up out of the floor if it's already been solvent welded in place. I'm gonna be using the reed pipe cutter and cutting off about four to five inches because I want this to be closer to the floor. The reason why I like this manual pipe cutter is because it gives you a square cut and that always helps out quite a bit when you're installing shower drains. Then I'm putting the foam spacer down on the floor again and I'm also going to be chamfering the top of this pipe. The next step is to fit the drain and make sure that it's level. This is really important. Then you want to measure from the bottom of the bonding flange to the top of the foam insert. That is the amount of pipe that you need to cut off. And what I really like about chamfering is it allows you to fit the pipe right up to the edge of the drain. I'm also going to be using this internal pipe cutter that's adjustable. It's awesome because you can adjust it to the height that you need to take off. In this case, that's roughly six and an eighth of an inch. I put this down into the pipe and I just press my drill and it cuts off the pipe perfectly. The next step is to chamfer the pipe that was just cut because that'll allow the drain to fit nice and evenly onto the pipe. You wanna make sure it's level again and just double check everything is gonna be dry fit perfectly. Then you can remove the drain and the little foam insert. If you have to, you can use the foam spacers at this point too. So for example, if you are a plumber or you don't have the shower tray, you can use these spacers instead of that foam donut. And again, you wanna make sure that the drain fits nice and level. Now here's a hot tip, literally. If you're gonna be heating this shower with Schluter Dietrich Heat, you need to cut out a Dietrich Heat donut in the shape of the foam insert, the white foam insert. And this is gonna act as a spacer that you can put underneath the white foam insert you need to raise that foam insert in such a way such that you can then use the Dieter heat mat on the main shower tray. Then you can mix up some Schluter all set. I'm just manually mixing this up. I'm also cutting the foam insert in half. You'll see why here in a moment. And you wanna wipe down your substrate, your floor that is, make sure it's nice and clean. Put something on the floor for your primer and your PVC cement. I'm gonna be using OD purple primer and OD PVC cement for this. You wanna prime the fitting first, four to five revolutions on that, prime the pipe, and then go back and prime the fitting again in the drain. The next step is to use the PVC cement on the drain pipe, then on the fitting, and then once again, about four to five revolutions of that on the pipe. And you wanna immediately put your spacers in place and push this down onto the pipe and twist it a quarter turn, and then make sure that it's level. This is a critical step. You need the drain to be absolutely level so that it will drain properly when your finished shower is installed. Then you can pull the foam inserts, put those aside, and then apply some thin set underneath the bonding flange and between the floor. You want a copious amount of thin set between the flange and the floor, and then you also want to put a lot of thin set on this foam insert, both on the bottom of it and on the top. So the reason why I split it in half is because I need to put this in between the floor and the drain. So this is gonna be supporting the drain because obviously there's a little gap underneath there. And this is per the Schluter instructions. So you definitely wanna use this foam insert or foam spacer underneath the drain. Don't skip this step because if you step on the drain, it could possibly crack or damage the pipe. So there needs to be support underneath that and there needs to be a lot of thin set between the drain and the foam insert as well. So just clean that off, make sure everything looks nice and neat, and that'll set up, and then you can go ahead and install your shower tray later on. But hopefully these tips help you install what I think is the easiest shower drain for a beginner. I really hope these tips helped you out. If they did, give this video a thumbs up, and also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care.